Is it appropriate to apply hyperbaric oxygen for long COVID? Unfortunately, many people who've gotten sick with COVID are left with long standing symptoms. Long COVID is something that's become a very common diagnosis. Fortunately, however, we have found certain solutions to help these patients transition back to a healthier place. And hyperbaric is one of them. We're gonna talk about that in this video. Over the last 18 months to two years, we have seen a huge influx in patients coming to our clinic, looking for treatment for long haul COVID. We offer many different therapies in our office, not specifically to treat long haul COVID, but to help rebuild the immune system, to help reduce the inflammation, and to help patients transition from a place where their immune system is really challenged back to a place of robust health. It happens that there are certain pieces of long haul COVID that are much more difficult to overcome as compared to other post viral issues. Some of those include increased tissue damage from the inflammatory response, a lingering of the inflammation systemically in their system, changes to their capillaries or their vascular system that is difficult to repair, certain cardiovascular symptoms that are also long lasting, and then certain neurological issues that are a result also of that hypoxia from the inflammation and capillary damage. So is it appropriate to apply hyperbaric oxygen for long haul COVID? The short answer is yes, but these are the reasons why. We know that long haul COVID has a series of those issues that I just presented to you. So where does hyperbaric oxygen fit? Well, a few things. Number one, we know that hyperbaric oxygen has the capacity to help reduce the cytokine response. We heard early on in COVID that this cytokine storm was one of the biggest issues associated with a lot of the tissue damage from contracting COVID in the first place. So certainly reducing that inflammatory response, increasing the anti-inflammatory cytokines inside of our body, and then rebalancing the immune system as a whole would all be things that we would look to generate post-COVID. And hyperbaric absolutely helps with that piece. Next is this inflammatory response specifically disrupts the endothelial lining. That's the lining inside your blood vessels where gas exchange occurs. Ultimately, if the endothelial lining gets damaged or there's inflammation blocking normal gas exchange, we lose oxygen delivery to the tissue that that capillary was supposed to deliver oxygen to. So hyperbaric does heal or help to heal the endothelial lining, that's for sure. But in addition to that, there's an angiogenic effect of hyperbaric oxygen long-term, meaning if we do enough sessions sequentially, we'll start to rebuild and regrow new capillary beds so that we can heal from all of that inflammatory response. And then even when we stop doing hyperbaric, we can still be delivering oxygen to those tissues because we now have a new series of capillary beds to feed those tissues. If you're enjoying this content or you're finding it helpful in any way, shape, or form, please do us a favor, like it, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Next, we have that tissue disruption from the hypoxia. And so hyperbaric has the capacity, once we drive oxygen from our circulation into our cells, hyperbaric has this way of promoting a healing response through the activation of collagen and fibroblasts, through the increased mobilization of stem cells. Hyperbaric has a very anabolic recovery, remodeling, and regenerative quality. And so now that we're driving oxygen into circulation, we're helping to heal the lining of your blood vessels and grow new blood vessels. We're now driving oxygen into those damaged cells and promoting an entire cellular and tissue healing response, which has the capacity to improve the cardiovascular function or help improve the damaged nerves, the neuropathies that we're seeing in patients in long haul COVID syndrome. So Hyperbaric oxygen absolutely does play a role in contributing to the healing effect of those suffering from long haul. Currently, there are studies even being done, a few across America and even more worldwide, looking at hyperbaric's effect for long haul syndrome. And these results are being published literally as we speak, and there are a few coming hopefully in the next few months. Currently, we're getting somewhere between three to four new patients with long haul COVID into our office almost every week. And again, it's unfortunate that so many people are affected by this, but I am very grateful that some therapies, specifically something so simple and safe like hyperbaric oxygen, has the capacity 
to help these patients heal and recover from those long-term infections and the damage associated with it. So I hope this helps answer at least some of your questions with regard to hyperbaric oxygen and long-haul COVID. I appreciate your time and watching, and we'll see you next video. So whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath or an acupuncturist or a DO or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com and uh, right across the, the top you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are going to be.